disease causing germs can spread through a vast array of sources. So we should always keep our personal cleanliness and hygiene and give it the topmost priority. We should always wash our hands before a meal. We should bathe regularly. We should clean our hair daily and we should always brush our teeth before every meal. Uncleanliness will lead to various diseases such as skin rashes, cholera, etc. So for a healthy life, we should take regular baths. We should wash our hands before having our meal. We should brush our teeth before each meal and we should regularly wash our hair. Now, this was personal hygiene, but we need to also keep our homes clean and tidy because microorganisms can also spread through them. So crockery should be thoroughly disinfected and floors and furnitures should be frequently cleaned. Now, in a family, we tend to share our meals, we tend to share our towels and our handkerchiefs. Now, this is extremely dangerous because communicable diseases such as conjunctivitis that affects the eyes and influenza or flu can get transmitted from a diseased person to a normal healthy person through sharing of towels and handkerchiefs. So any item of an infected person should not be shared by any other member of the family. Now a healthy mind can only reside in a healthy body. And to get a healthy body, we require exercises. Now physical exercises are very important because it increases the blood circulation. Now more the blood circulation, more will be the oxygen transported and the food to the different parts of the body. Now just physical exercises won't help. Enough rest is also required. Now ideally a person should sleep 8 hours in a day. Anything less than that will cause strain to our eyes and can also give us a bad headache. Now, while sleeping, what happens is a person's metabolism slows down, so the toxic wastes that have been accumulated in his or her body throughout the day gets flushed out through blood. Now, smoking and drinking also decreases the quality of life. A person who smokes a lot might have lung cancer in future. Now, not only does he get affected, but the people surrounding him can also get affected because of the harmful fumes of tobacco. A person who is into heavily drinking can also have liver cancer or cirrhosis of liver. Now, this was about personal hygiene. Now, we have to also keep social hygiene in mind as well. We have previously discussed about many disease-causing vectors such as house flies and cockroaches that sit on our food, bring about all these microorganisms and contaminate the food. And when we have this contaminated food, we fall sick. So care must be taken to see that we do not add to the increasing amount of garbage in the society. We should not uh, increase the amount of garbage in school canteens or in the roads by throwing out packets of chips out of the car's window. Instead, we should use these trash cans that should be in, uh, involved at regular intervals on the roads. Now, these trash cans will ensure the proper accumulation of all these waste products and an appointed person can take these collected wastes from the trash cans and can uh, take it to the waste treatment plants present in the cities. 
Now, these waste treatment plants would facilitate proper disposal of the wastes. Now, finally, we should always keep uh, our sanitation in our mind. That is proper usage of toilets. If we do not use toilets properly, then a lot of water contaminated diseases like cholera and jaundice or hepatitis can cause a lot of ill effects in men.